Thanks for joining us as we begin our last week in this journey through 40 days of prayer. Today we are reflecting on the truth that God forgives. It's a simple statement, but it has an eternal impact on our lives. Ephesians 1, 7 says, In Him we have redemption through His blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of His grace. Today, we want to pray for our care and prayer team here at Advent. These members spend countless hours lifting up our church family and community in prayer and look for ways to strengthen and love on those who need extra care in difficult times. We also wanna pray for our caregivers. Caring for others is just such a picture of the gospel, daily laying down our own lives for another. So let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for the grace that you have lavished on us to, to forgive us from our sins. Father, we know that we fail you um, daily, hourly, by the sins that we commit and by choosing our way over your way. So Father, we thank you so much for the grace that you offer and for providing a way through Jesus for us to come and approach a holy God and a perfect God. Lord, thank you for taking the burden and the weight of guilt and shame off of us and offering us forgiveness. And Father, help us then to offer that same forgiveness to others in our lives. Father, we lift up our care and prayer team here at Advent for these, um, these members here that, that lift up our church family and our community all the time just to, to support us and to bring those requests before your throne. Give them strength and endurance and thank you that they understand the power behind prayer. And Father, we ask that you'll give strength to the caregivers here at Advent and just all in our community. Lord, it is, um, it is a challenge to lay down our lives for the sake of others. But Lord, I pray that you will strengthen them and give them perseverance, give them joy and help them to know that you see them and that all of the daily tasks that they do for someone else really matter to others and they matter to you, Lord. It's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Today's prayer tip is walking prayer. So it's whether you walk around your home and pray for the people that live in your home or whether it's taking a walk through your community or your neighborhood and just praying for people as you pass by their homes. Um, just use that time of walking to kind of stir your senses and breathe life into your prayer.